I'm glad Tommy Fury didn't do it because he would have ruined the name. <laughs> he would have ruined the family name. I'm glad. And I said that. I said that. And they were like, oh, you disrespecting? No, I'm not. I just filmed. Man, listen, the film don't lie, bro. When you're getting hit with the best punch that this guy throws, which is the right hand, you get hit with it. It's heavy. It's heavy. It don't matter where it come from. It come, it come from your daddy. <laughs> if it's a right hand, it's a right hand. It's going to hit on the chin. So um, that's what I see, bro. Um, I could be wrong, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong. But at the end of the day, bro, uh, if you're not serious, you're not 100%, bro gonna get knocked out i favor him in a fight i think he knocks him out and, and it's crazy and it's crazy it's crazy you know and i only say that because he gets hit with right hands oh rockman gets hit with right hands bro like seriously and then he's not serious he's not serious with his craft either mm -hmm. you know uh he don't work he's not a hard worker mm -hmm. you know no i ain't never been in the gym with him but i've been a fighter i can tell i look at the i look at your fights and i see how hard you work bro i see your conditioning bro you lack conditioning you know, your technique is not there. You get tired after a few rounds, bro. Like, you're not putting in the work needed to be to be a fighter, bro. So, if you're going to take a fight like this, bro, which is a dangerous fight, dangerous, in my opinion, and a guy that pretty much, I believe, has your number because he has that right hand, I, I, I think he's going to catch him. I think he's going to catch him in the later, 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 uh, later in the fight, and I think he's gonna hurt him, and I think he's gonna take him out. Does he get credibility if he wins? Well, credibility. Uh, who needs credibility? Whole, like, who needs credibility? Who needs credibility when you getting that money? <laughs> <laughs> That's the credibility. I mean, he getting that money, bro. Uh, he getting that money, bro. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of of, of, of the so-called exhibitions, as far as like his, you know, his brother doing exhibitions and things like that. Like, I'm not a fan of that. Like, fight a real fight, bro. You know, I like I like what he's doing. So this is a real fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the fights beforehand was real fights. Even if I, even with the basketball player and all of that, you know, you got to fight to the level you're at. You know, he's still at the beginning stages of his career, bro. You know, it could it could, he could be 50 fights until he even think about or have a chance to fight for a world championship. It just depends on where he's at. But this dude is serious, man. He's serious. Y'all better stop playing with this dude, Jake Paul, bro. He's, he's fighting a guy that he knows, yes, but he's a real fighter, and he has a winning record. Um, whether, you, whether you hate Jake Paul or you like Jake Paul, I can just tell you this. He's great for the sport. I, I'm sorry to tell you guys that. He's great for the sport, and, and, and this reason why he's great. And this is the reason why he's great for the sport. Because, yes, his fans are YouTube fans or whatever, but... He's also create, creates a lot of buzz. What I, what I love about Jake is, is that, okay, he fought the guys coming up. And you got to understand that when you coming up, you typically fight guys that are less than you. You fight, I've seen professional fighters, blue chip prospects fighting against MMA guys, retired MMA. I've, I've seen that. I'm, that's how you build your record, you know. The fact that he did that, everybody gave him a bad rap for that. So now he picks a guy, you know, in Roxanne, Rockman's son, that has experience. He's been around the sport his whole entire life because of his father. That says a lot about him. But how he helped the sport is, is that he's generating money. Like, he's the only guy that is helping women's boxing in a way, in a strong way. He gave women boxing a raise, bro. A raise. Starting with Serrano, you know, first woman ever make that 500 million, half a million dollars, bro. And now you got women like Michaela Mayer and Baumgartner and, and, and Carissa Shield. They making million dollar purses, dog. Because he gave, he gave that, that, bump, that bump up, bro. So, you know, I, I appreciate what he's doing. I honestly, I honestly do. I appreciate what he's doing for the sport. Um, as long as he's not saying some outlandish things and wanting to, you know, face this, you know, Canelo and, you know, only for the money type of thing, then I don't have a problem with it. But I, I like his hustle. Um, the fact that he came in being a YouTuber and he was successful doing that and decided that he, you know, he has a passion for boxing. That's not his fault. That's not his fault, bro. To me, it's smart. I think it's a smart move, bro, because boxing, we... I, since I've been around boxing, we accept it all, bro. It don't matter what you are. We accept it all, bro. Everybody has an opportunity in boxing. That's why the sport is beautiful. You know, the stories are beautiful, but...
the fact that he's a huge, successful YouTuber, bro, we give him a bad rap, bro. You know? What do I you don't. I, I appreciate him. What do you make of the whole, like, the rehydration clause in the fight? Ah, man, that's part, that's part of just having control. That's mm -hmm. part of having control, bro. That's all it is. You know, um, you, you see the top guys that have, that have, are the, I would say, the money. You know, yes, he don't have a whole lot of fights, but he still generates a lot of money because of who he is beforehand, before this boxing. So, you know, you have control. So the rehydration crawls is, you know, we've seen guys do it in the past. We've seen Floyd do it. We've seen a lot of guys do it in the past. It's just so that way it's an even, an even playing field because the guy is a heavyweight, you know. Um, and I don't have a problem with it. It is what it is. The dude was signed on the dotted line. So <laughs> if you sign on the dotted line, it, it, it's, your, it's your fault for allowing that to happen. Obviously, the money was good enough for you to do so. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.